Hi, I'm Lachlan, and today I'll be walking you through Grouper, my concept for an application that connects users with social groups and other like-minded people. The idea behind Grouper is to provide a digital hub for social groups to broadcast their events and information to attract new members. Individuals can then search for those groups based on their own interests. Grouper helps users find and communicate with other like-minded individuals or representatives from groups they have an interest in. It can be difficult going to places when you don't know anyone, so Grouper wants to give its users the opportunity to make new friends beforehand. Grouper relays information to its users on their screen, providing list-based dialogues to see suggested groups. Communication between users is via text, similar to current messaging apps. Users interact with the application through physical touch. Users can search for and connect with groups or other individuals in a very short time, between 30 seconds to a minute if they know what they're looking for. They can remain loosely connected to the app over longer periods of time via notifications from messages or group events. When searching, the app will find physical groups that are close by proximity to the user's location or areas that they have specified to look in. Our research question was what are the significant factors that influence an individual's decision to join and participate in a community? Interviews revealed that a common source of reluctance in joining a new social group stemmed from not knowing anyone beforehand. Communicating with someone who would also be attending a group meetup helped certain participants overcome fears or anxieties about joining alone. Here's a quick scenario for where this application might be used. Emmy is bored and wants to play some board games. She contacts her friends, but they're too busy to do it tonight. She jumps on Grouper and browses for board game groups. She finds one she thinks looks good, but is nervous about attending by herself. Still wanting to play board games, she contacts someone else interested in the group through Grouper, and they arrange to buddy up and go together. The first prototype was a very simple representation of the concept. Users log in through the initial screen. They can then search for groups, or general types of groups, on the main page. At the bottom is a toolbar for quick navigation of the app's various functions. Your profile, event calendar, messages, and groups you belong to. Once a group has been found, information for that group and its members is displayed, and the user is given the opportunity to join that group and become notified of its events. Once the user presses join, they can choose to join with someone else and are shown a list of like-minded individuals that are also interested in the group. They can then initiate contact with them to make plans for going together or even just for a conversation. The concept of the application was explained to the participant and they were asked to explore the prototype and join up to a new group, thinking aloud while doing so. A key finding was that when viewing people interested in the same group, they wanted the option to make themselves visible for others instead of having to make the initial contact. Conversely, they also wanted the option to be invisible so they could choose when and with who they communicated. The high fidelity prototype remains similar to the low fidelity, with a few key changes. The navigation bar now provides access to the event calendar, messages, a map showing nearby groups, and notifications from the users groups. Group pages have the option of choosing to be interested, connecting the user with other like-minded people but not sending them notifications. Group representatives appear at the top of the list of interested people. Users can also opt in or out of being visible to others. Finally, there is also a simplified hub for communications. A second participant was given this prototype and the task of joining a social group and initiating contact with another person if they wished. They were then asked to narrate their experience with the prototype. Some quotes from their narration included, I think the app is really useful, and I like the aspect of being able to talk to people before attending anything. And, it would be nice to know the times for the groups before joining so that I can check it against my schedule. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching my video.